Whitetails for me have always been synonymous with home. Home for me is a white-tailed deer, and a white-tailed deer for me is home. That feeling of belonging and purpose, comfort and well-being. I can't imagine one without the other. I never made a conscious decision to live a life so heavily centered around white-tailed deer. It was more magnetic for me, something I was drawn to. We all find peace in different things, a book, a painting, a road trip. For me, I've always felt peace and purpose and passion in the natural rhythm of the white-tailed deer. I love hunting them. I love managing habitat for them. I just love observing them. I've always felt called to be the best possible steward of the animal that I could be. I don't know if I'll ever be able to properly communicate how I feel about whitetails and what they mean to me. The spiritual connection I have with them, their intelligence, their grace, their beauty, their athleticism. For the longest time that frustrated me a little bit because I felt like I wasn't doing how I felt or the animal justice, but over time I kind of learned to lean into it and embrace it a little bit because I know that that feeling and that emotion and that connection is real. It's not something that is scripted in my mind or that I manufacture behind a keyboard. It's a feeling that lives deep in my heart. And one way, especially during the summer, it's really special for me to enjoy these animals is to go for a deer drive. After a long, hot day of planning food plots or checking trail cameras, hanging stands, doing all these different projects for this animal to get ready for deer season, it just makes sense to go out and look for and observe and just enjoy them. And I actually bought an old 1988 Ford F-150 just for deer drives. Because in a lot of ways, this truck symbolizes to me what a deer drive is. It's old, it's timeless, it's built to last, it's simple, it's romantic. And when I hop in the truck and turn it over, it just, it just feels right, it feels good. It puts a smile on my face, just like a deer drive does. for me is an experience. It's an emotion. It's a feeling. It sounds silly, but to me, a deer drive is art. Art is designed to make you feel, make you connect with the subject. And when I go on a deer drive, I go in search of a connection with the animal, their home, my home. Watching nursing fawns, a doe at sunset, and a mature buck right before dark. I connect with the animal and those experiences spiritually and it humbles me and it inspires me to take the admiration that I feel in that moment, reciprocate it and give it back to the animal. A deer drive is open to interpretation. Like all art, it can be whatever you want it to be. In the short term, it can be an escape, an adventure, a love language. But the ultimate goal is connection and inspiration. Connection with a species and being inspired to give back to it. And that connection, it doesn't come from a book. It doesn't come from a video. It comes from being out there. It comes from being with whitetails being quiet, being present, and just watching them, just learning from them, just observing them, and being grateful that we get to share a world with these animals.
And the best thing about a deer drive is you get to do it all again the next day.